This is amazing. Now we have Autogen Bench. I've been using GPT for Turbo, Mistral, Mixtral, Llama 270B many times. But in regards to running AI agents such as Autogen or Crew AI, which model I should be using? That is the question I had for a long time. Sometimes it's really frustrating to run an open source model and end up getting bad results. So to identify which model I should be using, I found a tool called Autogen Bench. This simplifies the process of evaluating which model I should be using when I run AI agents. So among these models, which one I should be running? I spend many hours to run test against every single model in this list. I'm going to show you how to run test against each of these models when using it as an AI agent. So for GPT-4, I'm going to use OpenAI API. For Mistral and Code Llama, I'm going to use OLlama. For Mixtral Llama to 7db and Jama 7b, I'm going to use Grok. I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. So who is going to win this race? Stick till the end to know that. It is a tool for measuring and evaluating autogen agents. Imagine we are using human eval dataset. We'll be using these prompts and feed that to agents. Finally, we check the answer if it's correct or wrong. At the end, we'll get a report like this, which clearly tells the number of success, the number of failures, and how it performed in each trial. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Autogen Bench. There are three key aspects of this. One is repetition. That means we'll be running the same test multiple times to check if the agent is responding correctly every single time. Second aspect is isolation. We will run these agents in a container. That means a dedicated environment for those agents. And the third aspect is instrumentation, which means we are logging the behavior of each agent step by step. By following those three principles, we are able to effectively test those agents. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install Autogen Bench and then click enter. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now Autogen Bench clone human eval and then click enter. This will automatically clone the human eval dataset. Next, we are going to navigate to the human eval folder. There create a folder called OAI config list. Inside that file, make sure you mention the model you want to use. I'm going to use GPT-4 Turbo Preview. Now exporting the OAI config list like this. I will put all these commands in the description below so that it can be easy for you to use it. In the human eval folder, you have a folder called task. That is the list of tasks which we are going to feed to those agents. So inside the task folder, you have a file called human eval to agents.jsonl. So these are the contents of that file and you can see totally 164 tasks to test. So if I take one line, so I'm going to copy this one line and this is the contents of the one line. So in each line, you give the prompt and the test criteria. So if I see only the prompt, this line, so this is how the prompt is going to look like. So the task is, check if in given list of numbers are any two numbers closer to each other than the given threshold. So the large language model or the agent is going to use this data and this is the test criteria. Finally, the agent is going to respond with the correct answer. So the prompt and the test criteria. Test criteria is the place of evaluation. If everything is correct, then the test is passed. So now we are going to run Autogen agents line by line, each line three times, and also in a dedicated container, and finally store the results in a folder. So to do that, Autogen bench run, and then I'm providing a subsample, repeat three, and the file. The reason I provide subsample is because, so that I can finish the tutorial quickly, otherwise it's going to take half an hour or more than that. And repetition is three times, you can even add more repetition if you want. That's it. Now I'm going to click enter and you can see it started running one by one. You can see that the tests are running one by one. It's automatically going inside a Docker container. Then it's installing all the required packages. These packages are required to run a test in a dedicated environment. That is inside a container. 
Then it's giving a scenario. So you can see the user proxy is giving assistant the task. That is a human eval task. And also it's providing the test criteria. Based on this, the assistant, that is the agent, is responding back with the answer. Then finally, the test been evaluated and I can see all tests passed and terminate. Then again, the same test starts again, 49 slash two. So it is going to repeat three times and also it is logging every step of the way. So it is running in its own environment, in its own container. It is logging all the metrics or the test results and also it is running three times to make sure these agents are tested properly. And I can see all the tests running and finally it is complete. So if I go into the human eval folder, there is a results folder. Inside results, you can see all the results stored here. And if I open one of the folder, you can see it ran three times, every single task. Then if I open it further, I can see exactly all the things happened here. It stores the console log, the timestamp, the prompt, and all of the things. This is detailed. Finally, I'm going to type autogen bench tabulate results slash human eval to agents. This is where our results got stored. So I'm going to click enter. And here you can see the table or column with all the tests, whether it's passed or not. So I can see only in one place it got failed. So the model which I'm using is GPT-4 Turbo Preview, which you can see here. You can even modify this model as per your requirement. You can even add your own model. We can even compare this with GPT-3.5 Turbo or even with any open source large language model. To use Grok, you need to set your base URL like this and get your API key from Grok console and have these values in OAI config list. Once after you've done this, in your terminal, export OAI config list and then click enter. Then same as before, run autogen bench run and have the sample size, number of time it needs to repeat and the JSON error the task file, that's it. And then click enter. To integrate Olama, first download Olama from Olama website, then run Olama pull Mistral and click enter. This will automatically download the Mistral model. Once after it's downloaded, you need to type sudo systemctl edit Olama service and then click enter. This will automatically open this file. Make sure you edited the service and added Olama host as 0000. Then control O to save and control X to exit. After doing this, you're going to reload using systemctl daemon reload and going to restart Olama and then click enter. This varies for Mac and varies for Windows as well. I will put all the information in the description below. Next type curl ifconfig.me and then click enter. This will automatically give you your IP address. You can use that IP address in this location. Once after you've completed your testing, make sure you disable by following these steps again and remove Olama host and restart Olama. That is for security reason. Next, same as before, export OAI config list, cat OAI config list and then click enter. Next, autogen bench run and the list of tasks and click enter. This will automatically start testing the Mistral model. Now I completed all the tests. Now who is going to top the list? And here is the result. So GPT-4 Turbo gets the highest. Next, Mistral. Llama to 70B, then Hermes to Pro, then Mistral, Code Llama, and Jama 7B. I have added all the results on my website in regards to GPT-4 Turbo, Hermes to Pro, Mistral, Code Llama, Mistral, Llama to 70B, Jama 7B, and all the configuration I used. I have also added all the test results in this repo. So you can just go there and able to go through every evaluation it did and get a better understanding. In this way, you are able to test how the agents are performing. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.